Hi everyone, Eugene Sachs here with another review from GameCritics.com. Saint Maker is a new horror visual novel from Yang Yang Mobile. Players will follow Holly, a young girl going to the convent of Saint Idolora for a religious recollection. Holly soon realizes that this convent has a special air to it, one that will require her to learn, adapt, and face more than she ever expected in order to get out alive. We start off with Holly finding Mother Adira, the mother superior of this convent. She's strict, obeys the Bible to the letter, and immediately sets the tone by taking away a book about fairies and magic that Holly treasures. Holly is then quickly introduced to another person who will be at the recollection, a tough older girl named Gabriella. We follow the three characters through a couple of days of this religious event, watching them evolve and reveal their story to the player. I've always been on the fence when it comes to visual novels, but Saint Maker started strong with some well-done voice acting and storybook art style. There's a slight animation to the characters throughout the game, and the actors aren't just reading the lines. Every recitation has some slight variation on it, like extra emphasis on syllables, interjections of breaths, or cries between words that give the character some intense personality. Holly feels very innocent and demure. <laughs> It's nothing, never mind. Gabriella feels tough and anti-authority. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. And Adira presents with a sense of tiredness that comes with age. The call finds us at the strangest of times, in the strangest of places. All in all, the great production values made the story easy to slip into. Though, that is all this game is, a story. While every visual novel has a central story and at least one ending, sometimes more, I feel like many of the good ones offer more flexibility on how the player gets there, but Saint Maker doesn't have this flexibility. There are some choices that can color a scene differently, but these aren't even close to being branching story paths. Saint Maker is one of the few visual novels I've played that felt like a book being read to me instead of being a game to interact with. On the other hand, it doesn't overstay its welcome allowing the game to auto-progress on its own, clock the entire run in at just over six hours, and it doesn't feel rushed. In an attempt not to spoil anything, I would say that if players are looking for a scary visual novel experience, they may want to look elsewhere. Saint Maker is more of a psychological thriller than horror, and I'm not sure if the content will scare people so much as unsettle them with its focus on Christian guilt, trauma, faith, and fanaticism. Speaking of which, Consider this a content warning for the game as a whole, since Saint Maker doesn't offer any type of content warning. Did I enjoy my time with Saint Maker? Yes. Would I ever play it again? No. Especially since there aren't any variations in the story paths or endings that would warrant it. I could see this being a tale to experience on a dark, rainy night for avid visual novel fans, but I doubt there's much here for anyone who isn't already a fairly serious fan of the genre's more straightforward offerings. For me, Saint Maker gets six religious statues out of ten.